squares because I'm going to be, hold on, let me open that up. So we're going to do this. We've got Also, I'm not, like, in my microphone right now. Just streaming 100% all. I'm sorry. Anyway. So, I have to make 18 granny squares. And four, four half, I think. I'll do one, two, and then three, four on the other side. I don't think I'm going to need them here. I think it's just four. And then we're going to do like a Romanian chord, or I'm going to use my chord smith and do one like this. Do a knit one. I haven't decided yet. I think I have to do a Romanian chord because that's crochet, and this is going to be a design for hobby. But I really want to use the chord smith because it's faster. But that's fine. So... We're going to work on this for a little bit today, and then um, hang on a second. I think I figured out what's going on with my mic. <laughs> I, yeah, I had the, I hit the bottom of my microphone, so I think I like turned it up or turned it down, and oh. I can't tell. Okay, I couldn't tell. I was like, I hit it and I didn't want it to be like wildly loud. But yeah, so we're going to make some of these. Um, and then I'm going to do some where they start out with this cream color and then some where they start out with the brown color. Where did I put my crochet hook? So we'll start Thank you for that follow. Appreciate you. And my alerts are working. Look at that. Hello, hello. How are you? How are you, Lucky? Your alerts are working, you know it's a good day, right? And then I think after a little bit, we'll work on these for a little, and then I'm going to switch over. Hello! How are you? We'll switch over to my sweater. Because I, I knew if I started with my sweater, we would not get to granny squares, and I this I need to make. Because this is for a company, and my sweater is just for me, so, yeah. What 
is everybody up to today on this fine Tuesday? Cole, how are you? What are the Granny Squares for? So, I'm a part of uh, Hobby, the Yarn Company Hobbies. Um, is it really quiet? Is this better? Um, but yeah, so they're for a bag. Um, but I am designing for Hobby and they're doing like a granny square dang it yeah uh, everybody's saying it's quiet hmm how about now but yeah so um they're doing a whole thing about uh like a whole challenge for us and it's a granny square challenge. So I'm doing just basic granny squares um, like this, and then they'll be rotating between, okay, it's better. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, some will start with this color in the middle and some will start with this color. We're gonna do nine and nine. And then they'll get seamed together into a bag like this, and then we'll do a Romanian cord for it. And then the sides of the bag will be the width of a granny square so they'll be like up the side yeah so that's the concept right now just got off work so now i'm making market stuff Ooh, what you making playing dark cloud Ooh. sounds super pretty I'm excited I think I haven't got to work with neutrals in a while most of my stuff has been pretty like brights so I'm excited to be back in the neutral territory again but yeah we'll make a couple of these and then I want to switch to my sweater because I'm almost ready to change colors again I think I have like three rows left. Ah! So I whack my For spring market so i'm finishing a bunch of mesh bag sets and a few like ooh, i like spring markets i think they're really a fun way to like showcase different different like makes like you can do you can still crochet and knit for different seasons you know well obviously you know you're making stuff for a spring market but it's just in my head it's just a cool way to showcase what we can do LA, hello! Oh, what the heck am I doing? I cleaned the living room a couple months ago and all my crochet things got put upstairs and my ADG keeps remembering until now well now you can go get it out how's your anniversary it was good it was good we went on a little adventure went to the bookstore um played some game 
It was fun. There we go. Saw our picks, yeah. I just think it's cool that it doesn't matter like where we're at in the game if we're playing it currently or if we're like on a break from it or whatever like that is our our game. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure it's fun to just kind of mosey it is like and that's the thing like i've always played dang it it's whatever i always played destiny like even when i played it a lot i played it casually like i would play a couple hours every night but it's one of those games that you can always just i don't know it might be confusing and you might not know where you're at but you can always pick it up and go shoot bad guys. Alien spacemen. That's what they are. Fine. Fine. The Guardian Life chose us. We didn't choose it for real. Damn Bungie for the obsession, right? <laughs> I got alert because I'm in meetings all day, but I wanted to say hi. Hi! Go have good meetings, and I appreciate you for lurking. I feel the same about Halo. Like the, I feel like it's that way for, like, like I, I'm that way if we were to, like, play Titanfall again. I think I would fall right back into, like, knowing how to Titanfall. <laughs> I think that was I'll be 90 and still want to whoop someone in Halo 3. <laughs> Brothers and I would land party and go through the campaign every aw. That's so cute. Hi! How are you? And like don't get me wrong, I love Halo. I had a, I have a lot of great memories with it, but I think I think Titanfall was my, like, it just made me feel like a badass. Titanfall 2 was just, it was, like, I wish, Titanfall 2 is one of those games that I wish I could go black, back and play again for the first time, like, and experience that all over again. I just wish they weren't, like, or they didn't get so screwed. really enjoyed Titanfall 2. It was great. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> hmm. Somebody's being low key. It 
It's still, that's, I don't know. I've like literally got it like, how about now? It's just gonna pick up a lot of background noise. That's the only thing I'm worried about. That's better. Wow, okay. Just might, hear you just might hear sleeping. the city noises a little more. Oh gosh, yeah, but no, it's fine. But it's turned up. Okay. We'll go with that then. I've yet fifty percent volume now versus hundred Okay, well. I like <laughs> whacked my microphone earlier and I think I just like messed everything up. said whack I did oh my god nerds okay so I think I think I've changed my mind but we're gonna have to finish this square first how can i cannot not picture a mafia movie <laughs> <laughs> i think that's like the eastern like new yorker maybe in me I think, oh, dang it. This is what happens. So this is Sam designing something is I, so I draw it all out, right? And I'm not a very good like artist at all. I just draw squares, but I get it all drawn out and then I start making it. And then I change my mind like 120 times. So I thought, I think we're gonna, ugh. Yeah, the sirens are probably gonna be loud. Um, Something I need to learn, designing patterns, what I wanna design on Megurumi. I, Sorry, the sirens are literally right outside my window. Um, so, no, I you could totally do that. I've never designed Amigurumi. It's like so, that's, Amigurumi designers are like on a different level. Y'all are, that's so much counting. Um, I mean, I guess I do that in sweaters and stuff, but it's just, it feels like it's, Y'all are performing witchcraft. So I was thinking that I was going to like rotate these. <laughs> All the counting. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I don't do Amagurumi very often. Is it's just so much counting and I like to talk. And I like, while I'm working on stuff, I like listen to a lot of audiobooks or podcasts or I watch Twitch streams. And I, I don't like counting. I started to read an article about the whole process. Oh, I bet it's fascinating. There's a person, I'll have to, I can't remember who it is. I'm on their email list, but they're doing like a crochet designer course right now. 
I think that's very cool. I've seen people making them super tiny now, and I swear... No, they are. They're making it with thread. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Like, bonkers. Like, okay, so... Hang on. I'm getting it. Is this it? No. Okay, so this is the crochet hook that I work with. This is five millimeters. It's like a main hook for most projects. You can make beanies with it. You can make scarves with it. You make clothes with it. You can make amigurumi with it. They are making amigurumi. This is 0.5 millimeters. Like, I don't even know if you can see the hook on that. Like, it's so tiny. Like, it's wild. Wild. But yeah, it's thread. They're, like... You would have to get those magnifying glasses. Oh my gosh, I would love to. I, I've seen them make, like, those beautiful chokers with thread. But I also say I want to be a person who runs every day. Truth. I don't think I've ran in the past five years. I did a cartwheel the other day, though. I'm not talented enough to cartwheel. I, I had like I haven't in a long time, a couple years. Like, I did when we lived back in Michigan because we had a big backyard. And the kiddos were like, I bet mom doesn't know how to cartwheel. And I was like, watch me. And I did. And I didn't die. So, I tried it again the other day. Imagine doily style. Does, yeah. No, they're like, they're so dreamy. I... I would love to crochet, like, a really cool black choker. I also got, so I have, I'm gonna try it out soon, but I got this, like, this wire, like, jewelry wire for my sprouts. It makes my sprouts stand up. But I think I'm gonna try and crochet with it, too. And, like, try to make, like, a chain necklace with it or something. Black yarn was invented by Satan. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. Okay, so yeah, I think I've decided. So I was going to do them alternating. And then we would have this one over here and down. But I think I'm just going to do them all. I think I'm just going to do them all dark. I really like how that looks. My sprouts are so cute. Thank you. What do you think? Do you think I should do them, like, alternating? I don't know. I really like how this one looks, though. You like the alternating? Okay. Okay. I'll do one side. Hmm. I'll do one side and then see how I like it, I think. Because then it would be... How are we doing this? So it would be... Cream... And then a cream up here and up here and then he so cream across these would be dark dark okay i think that'll be okay 
and then we'll do alternating on the sides like where sorry I'm looking at this so half and half half and four and five equals the dark ones and then one two three and six will be light And then 10 and 12 and 7 and 9 will be dark. And these will be light. I think that'll work. Like you're, This is uh, a Kindle, actually. Uh, Sean got it for me for Christmas. It's like just a little Kindle. Yeah, I love this darn thing. Like, um... It's got like a whole journal section. So I've got like my sketchbook, my notes for like what I do during the day, my scrap paper, um, like game stuff. So that's where I put like what I need to do in Stardew. Um, is it the paper white? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, this is this paper white. I have this one. What's the little one? I have the little one and then I have the big one. Kindle, right? I don't remember. Hold on. Scribe. That's Kindle Scribe. As soon as I opened up Amazon, I remembered. Yeah, Kindle Scribe. So this little one is the paper white. I haven't had a Kindle in so, so long. I don't read enough. I didn't read as much until I got my Kindle. And then I like, blah, but yeah. And then um, Sean got me that for Christmas and I use it literally every single day. It's, it's my favorite. I still have my paperweight from 2009. <laughs> it's in a closet somewhere. That's awesome. I just got back into reading this year. Heck yeah. I say that reading is probably one of my favorite like uses of my time outside of crocheting like crocheting I like and knitting I like because I feel productive I should weave these ends in as I go come on Sam trying to convince the wife to buy me a kindle for my heck yeah I vote yes if you need somebody to to write like a little note that says you need that I I can do that like a permission slip. <laughs> Will that work? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Future Sam is going to be so proud of us. Dr. Sims says, give me. My brother, who's also a Sam, is getting stationed in Washington. <gasps> that would be so cool! You say that as the sirens go by. Yes, I vote. Let's get coffee. Would love that. Remember the 
cooking on Saturday, so fine. Have you ever been to East? No, I haven't. I have not. I would love to. We live, like, in the city, so it wouldn't be hard to get over to, to like, where it is. But we have not yet. I haven't really gone to can I haven't gone to a convention since Guardian Con back in 2016 if I'm being honest. All right, let's make another dark one so I can kind of see how it looks. I'm so happy you're streaming during the the weekday so like oh I, yeah, I was like, you know what, I'll stream Fridays and Sundays, and then Stardew came out last Tuesday, and I streamed, and I really liked it, I had a lot of fun, it was nice and chill, and, um, I was like, you know what, I'm not doing anything else. My stepbrother's in Tacoma, I was gonna try to go to ECC, CCC, but I keep getting distracted, visit his family. Oh, that would be so fun, though. It will. If you get out this way, we would like to do, like, a, a con or something. I don't know. We'd like to do, to go to something like that. Maybe PAX West. Is Pax West in Seattle? Yeah, it's in Seattle. I miss Pax South. I know. That was such a bummer. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Now I really wanted to go to Guardian or GCX, whatever it's called this year, but that's probably out of, out of the cards for this year, but maybe next year. My wife works for the city and Penny Arcade actually bought themselves. So oh, really? Wow. I didn't really look into much about it, but I just saw the news and was like, well, that's not great. <laughs> Of everything, yeah. Finally going to GCX. Oh, that would be so, like, see, that would be so cool to be able to go. Oh, yes. Hopefully next year. I know so many people are going, and that would be, that would be good. Next year, we'll, we'll see what we can do. GC up, yes, that, I'm in. I really like these colors. Like, I know they're just neutrals, but they... Like, they remind me of mushrooms. Oh, they're just cool to me. Or 
earthy and yeah. Yeah, I think you're doing just fine. I love the stream layout with the cat so cozy and cute. Thank you. I just like, I changed it up a little bit. We had the chat box and stuff on there, but I thought it was just a little bit too cluttery. So kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but thank you. I think they're very cute. Once we get um, our emotes and stuff, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna replace all the cats with Cora and her frog hat on on my stream like overlay I'm just gonna make that my like my brand is just Ikora and a frog hat stop it I'm used to watching out for misspellings of my job over the years. I'm a newspaper and now this publisher, so I see there instead of they are. And I'm like, yeah, no, I I feel that. I I used to be really bad and like if I saw somebody use the wrong thing, I would like it like hurt me. But it's like gotten so common now that I just don't even pay attention anymore. <laughs> I would be a terrible editor right now. pattern abbreviations with the pattern for a catch yeah have you guys played much fortnite yeah we played all the way through what was like available we like got our town maxed out and we made another one and like unlocked all the things and we're gonna play um, play again tonight. Yeah. I just released the cards today. I'm so excited. Thank goodness. So you don't have to walk everywhere. Well, you could fly, but... Now you can drive. Alright, one more round.
around on this one. And then we'll take another look and see how they're all looking together. Add the rocket balloon system to the cars now. Oh my gosh. I was playing before anybody had written the easiest way to get power cells, so I was winging it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play later tonight after dinner, so I'm excited. Bones and claws like me is what I found work best. Five claws and five. Oh, perfect. We've got a ton of that. Last time I played Lego Fortnite was with Fallout Plays when he was into it, and that was last thing we were trying to figure out was making flying platforms to fly around. Yeah. That's funny. Fishing is fun too. Yeah, we did the fishing. That was fun. Went to the cat island game mode thing. That was cute. Now you can collect snow to make ice cream. Ah! Hi, Casey. You and Alice have fun. Thank you for lurking. Which wish Twitch still let us host? That yeah, that well, I mean you totally wouldn't have to, but that it's so weird. I didn't realize that that like completely. I thought I read something about it, but I didn't. Why are your scissors so pretty? <laughs> I've got... I've got these ones, too. I love scissors. <laughs> I love them so much. It went away 2022. Hose mode's going away. Neat. I yeah, I had read something about it, but then I like completely forgot because I wasn't on Twitch, so it really didn't matter. 
Like, I, I wasn't really watching it or, or anything, but... I need to order some new scissors soon, though, because the only ones that I have left out of that whole pile that are sharp are these ones. I always felt so cool back in the day, like, hosting my friends and stuff. I don't know. I was a, I'm a little bit sad about that. trying not to stab myself with my scissors while also not like slamming them down on the desk really loud. Do you have any more? I don't know. Do you have any more live shows coming up? Do I? Oh, sorry. I wasn't. I don't think so. I couldn't remember if you did or... Oh my gosh, I almost just cut that. That would have been so bad. Okay, so this is what... This is what we're looking at so far. And then there'll be half... This will be up here. And then, and then these two will come down on this side. No, we'll have half down here as well. I think. It just dawned on me. Do you not weave your yarn tails much? I probably do overkill on mine. I, I tie knots. So all of my yarns have knots. <laughs> And then I just do a little tail. I don't really go crazy, like crazy in deep with them. Um, the only time that I do go a little like heavy on my yarn weaving is in clothing. Um, but that's because I use like mostly um, natural fibers. So I like, I have a little thing, hold on. I have one of these little doodads that has the little pointy needles and you like felt it and I felt the two ends together when they're natural fibers but so for clothing I do that a lot but for for this stuff I just tie a lot of knots and make sure it's really secure in the knot looks like you can give tattoos with the probably I've, like, stabbed myself in a t I snapped one of the, um, one of the little points off trying to felt the other day. Alright, let's do... Hold on. I'm trying to decide how I want to lay this out. 
I don't know. It really doesn't matter. I just need to make a bunch of granny squares. So. <laughs> We'll probably make this one and then I'm going to switch over to my sweater because I'm getting really antsy to work on that. Yeah, so when I join yarn, I do a slip knot instead of just like looping it over. And then I'll just weave in this tail like through a section of stitches. And that's about as far as um, as far as I go for weaving in ends, really. I prefer that it's it's worked I haven't I haven't had anything like fall apart or anything on it I saw it once um on like a YouTube video a long time ago and I was like oh that is way better a slipknot yes took me forever a few days ago when I started a new skein of that rainbow yarn and I was trying to join oh my gosh I bet I had to so I made I don't know I was just seeing if my cardigan was close by but I made a cardigan and it's all granny squares and I didn't carry the yarn in any of them until like the last five and I had so many ends to weave in plus on stream I'm like nope 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 right so I told myself this project I have to weave in my ends as I go
also I cannot get over how soft this yarn is like it's an acrylic but it's like smooth and not as like normally uh like red heart soft is really soft but it like splits really bad this isn't splitting that bad Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 100% acrylic. And it's anti-pilling as well. It, it reminds me of the Lion brand uh, basic stitch, but it's like a little bit... A, I want to say it's... Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is a little bit thinner because it's a DK weight yarn, but... Uh, it's a little bit, even says premium. Yeah, yeah, but I think all of their yarns say premium, if I'm being honest. I, I think a lot of them do. But, uh, no, it's, I really like this one. It comes in a ton of colors, too. I just really like hobby yarn. Well, I like I like hobby yarn a lot. I like uh, Mary Maxim yarn a lot. I like I don't I like Lion Brand yarn. I just don't like the company. And who's the other one I really like? I like Karen for some things. I feel like I need to be taking notes for good yarn. <laughs> If you ever have a question or anything, you just, you know how to reach me. I got you. I should like put together little goodie boxes for like people that want to learn how to crochet or knit. Like, okay, use this yarn. <laughs> Here's the difference between the yarns. Like a how to. Do a YouTube series. Yeah, like little, like, yeah. My friend Destiny does knit versions. She does these, like, they're like project boxes, but they're for absolute beginners. Like, it's, it's a knit scarf. It comes with all the yarn you need, the written pattern, a video pattern, a, the knitting needles you need, uh, straight and circular, a tapestry needles it comes with everything and I always wanted to do like a crochet version of that but I just I don't even know how to like st because she does it all from her house and I'm like I don't have space for that inventory you know so much yarn to go through that are the ones I get from Michaels and Joann's and those are the main brands you can feel the yarn seems lower quality more artificial yeah next time I have a project for DK I need to get the paint box I used paint box, that's way back there. I used paint box on one of my blankets. I had their chunky yarn. I love their yarn. I forgot all about them. Good call out. A couple years ago, I won a giveaway on Instagram. 
surprisingly, and they sent me all the yarn for a blanket. But I didn't know how to knit at the time, so I just made it up as I went. <laughs> If you ever want help with inventory by chance, I used to ship out fan calendars. Now I have... Oh, that's so cool! Heck yeah! Not sure if you've ever seen these Destiny fan art calendars. I've seen a couple of them. I'm not sure. Oh, the fan art ones. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I was like, there's a couple calendars that have been made. Is that the one from the, the subreddit? If I'm thinking of the right one, maybe not. Oh, cool. There's a very good possibility I saw it then. But also, maybe not. before that I was doing turn that's so cool for sure yeah no like I don't mind it's not that like I I don't want to like package things and get them it's just I don't know where I would keep all of the yarn because that's like a lot of yarn unless I did them like ship on demand kind of thing but yeah we like we live in a micro apartment so all of my yarn has to fit right here <laughs> we need that great gay con yes got heck yeah If that actually becomes a thing, I will for sure reach out. I'd have to figure out all the logistics and everything, but... Where did I put... Oh, there they are. Right. Queer moon. <laughs> oh, that makes my heart happy. No, I'm trying to convince Sean to have him, like, have us move into our car and just start backpacking across the country. Because I had a dream about it, if I'm going to be honest. I had a dream about it the other day that we just, like, decided one day to sell all of our stuff and move into our car. And I was like, yeah, let's do that, because Ikora looked cute in the little backpack. <laughs> we should buy... I would love to... When I get a job... 
that would be a thing. But also, I don't know that I could, like, so afraid of living on ground level again. I'm just saying we should move into... Maybe we should, could get a we should get a van. Like he did bring up a valid point, but cuz our car is quite small. But I think Icor would like it. <laughs> get one of those vans I've seen. Yeah, no, I would Oh, that is a dream of yeah, mine. Yeah, for real. Like, that, one of those nice vans that, like, people can actually live in that has, like, a little kitchen and some of them have, like, bathrooms and, yes. Not to be bougie, but, uh, like, you can get Wi-Fi. Right, that. yeah. Like, like, I would, oh, that is a dream. I remember when I would get so many TikToks of people, right during the panorama. Mm -hmm. That's been my dream since I was, like, I don't know. Since I wanted or learned that I could drive. Alright, what do we think? So far. I like it too. But I... I don't know if I just like them solid though. I don't know, I'll make a bunch of them, and then we can decide on Friday what the layout is going to be, I think. Because this is what I'm going to work on tomorrow. Alright, I'm going to BRB and go grab a drink real quick and stretch, and then, yeah, it'll be easier to see when I lay it out. But I'll be right back, and then we'll switch over to my sweater, okay?
Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. But we're getting closer to swapping, and I think... I think the next color section is going to be this purple and rainbow again. To, like, bring it back to the dark side. I also really need to start using needle stoppers. Because I'm going to end up dropping stitches. But they get stuck. What is happening? Hi, Ghosty! How are you? Good getting cozy with some English. Ooh. About to write. Fun. What you writing? I love tea. You make knitting look so easy. It's sure taken some time. Writing a contemporary romance part of a bingo. Oh, cool. That's so neat. I love romance books. I just got sent a romance book today cute little rom-com. I started reading the second book in Actar. Heck yeah! Do you have a favorite genre sub- I love- so my favorite types of romance, I love- I love rom-coms, I love romanticy. um, but my favorite tropes, I love, I love anything dark romance. I love anything with like touch her and die vibes. <laughs> um, I love grumpy sunshine a lot. Um, opposites attract kind of thing. Only one bed or only one horse, depending on if it's fantasy or not. <laughs> is a mood. What about you? What is your favorite, like, sub, sub, I can't say that, sub, genre. there we go. Forced proximity, marriage of convenience, she fell first, but he felt harder, also very good also very good. Marriage of Convenience. I just read, oh, what was it called? This, this is where I'm terrible. Hold on. Let me look at my Goodreads. I just read A Marriage of Convenience. So good. Um, 2024. Not You Again, I think. Hold on. Yeah, Not You Again. So, so good. Lately, I've been gravitating towards horror and historical fiction. Ooh. I, I, I like thrillers. Horror freaks me out. <laughs> like, 
gets stuck in my brain and then I, that's all I dream about for the next couple weeks. Um, but historical fiction is, is another really good good section of books. Haunted puppets? Oh my gosh. Yeah, what is everybody currently reading? Evan recommended it. Puppets. Oh no! <laughs> I've got like 13 books on my currently reading list right now. I use my currently reading list on Goodreads as my TBR for what's next. That, I don't know if that is what you're supposed to do, but it's what I do. Rereading Percy Jackson series? Oh, that's, I'm actually rereading Percy Jackson series with uh, one of our kiddos right now. I just, just restarted it, but I haven't read it since I was, I don't know, 16 maybe. Just started a Bigfoot slasher called Dia whatever it is. Ooh, a Bigfoot slasher? That sounds neat. Uh, yeah, we do. Reading a poetry book and an Akatar book too? Sick. What poetry book? Just a... Page... Oh, I want to read that so bad. That's on my list. You'll have to let me know what you think. no kiddos but I work in education so oh reading crush ooh not heard of that Did you read Not You Again? Yes! Yes! I got to arc read that. Very good. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I got it through NetGalley. So, that's like one of my favorite platforms to get arcs is NetGalley. But I do uh, book reviews on my website and on my Instagram and Facebook. And yeah, it's really powerful. Quite a lot of behind the scenes. And Ooh. Thank you. I try to keep them nice and short and sweet and to the point. I haven't touched Net NetGalley yet. I started a bookstagram with reviews, but no progress so far. What is your bookstagram? Is it the same name? Yeah, I didn't mean to. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let me go find you.
Your digital art? Is that what that is? Wait, this is... Am I... Well, I just followed your art account, I'm pretty sure. So, or I just followed somebody random, but either way. No, no worries. Follow your art account and then I'll eventually figure it out. But your art's beautiful. <laughs> New friends. Oh, and thank you for thank you for following here. My yarn cake is starting to like come out of itself. My account is a mixture of yarn and books, and I like it like that. Slightly chaotic, a little bit messy, but lots of fun. It's my tagline. That's annoying. So I have these little pieces where my sleeves are, but they keep clanking. So I'm trying not to, as I smash it on my desk. Yarn is so pretty. Yee. Oh, how many? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Your book review website looks great. Very professional. Are you making your review banners in Canva? Yeah, I have them in Canva right now. I just haven't. I've been like messing with different formats and layouts and stuff, but I think I'm just going to end up making one myself. But right now, I, I like what they what they have. They have so many options, so it's it's just easier to use Canva. The only thing is I wish the camera showed the colors better. It's almost like a little too desaturated, but they're quite bright. Canvas are great. Yeah. I like it. I like Canva a lot. I'm really thankful that it came out when it did. It's a lot easier than using, like, especially on my computer when I open Photoshop, it takes like 25 minutes. So... <laughs> When I just need to make a quick meme or a quick graphic, it's nice.
we're so close to switching yarns. I never tried knitting, but I do some crocheting. Oh, fun. Yeah, I, I do, I knit, I crochet, I do some like cross stitch or not cross stitching embroidery I haven't tried cross stitching yet but that's on next on my list but knitting's fun it's my newest craft I've been doing it for about two years now maybe a little bit longer But here, let me, where are my, there they are. Put my needle stoppers on real quick. Like it's starting to look like a shirt. Ah. I'm always in awe of your socks. Oh, thank you. I pick up new hobbies too often, right? Yeah, I... I have this one that I, I just finished for Sean, and then... I'm working on its partner right here. <laughs> and then I gotta make my second sock. Socks. I got all twisted. So one thing that I'm thankful that my ADHD hyper fixated on yarn and like never let it go. It was just like, this will be your personality for the rest of your life. I stuck with digital art for six years now though. Yeah, no, see, we, we find the one thing eventually. <laughs> Might take us 400 things ahead of it, but we'll figure it out. Gosh, I cannot get my yarn held right. I love working the body of sweaters because it's just so repetitive and it's just stockinette stitch over and over and over again, but the sleeves get in the way. I might actually pause on my the body of this once we switch colors and start finishing the sleeves so then I don't have to, they're just out of the way. Not today, but... I'm always jelly of folks whose fixations are productive. All I do is, hey, video games are fantastic. They don't have to be productive. Having fun equals, yes, there, see? 
Ghosty's got it down. Logic. What now? <laughs> Enabling us. And I'm approving of it. I'm enabling joy. <laughs> you joy bringer. How dare you. Elmo meme. <laughs> okay, come on. We all live in a capitalist hellscape that encourages us to monetize our hobbies and <laughs> resist the man and play Lego Fortnite. Yes! Hell yeah. This is my kind of shenanigans. Our people! <laughs> our people! <laughs> Also, would it be cool with all of you if on Friday we just played with yarn again instead of playing games? Because I think I just want to play with yarn again. I'm like, if I'm not finished with the sweater by then, I will be almost finished with it. And if I finish it, then that means I finished it before the end of the month, which would be really cool. That's my goal. Play with the yarn, do what brings you joy. I, I mean, video games bring me joy. I just, I really like making stuff on stream with y'all because I feel like I can talk to you better. I'm not as great at video game multitasking as I am playing with yarn, even though I still struggle with that. I can pretend that. Aww. We're here to enjoy your company. That's all no specific. Aw, thank you. And then maybe we'll just do a longer stream on Sunday. And then we'll do it half and half. Maybe. <laughs> Hi! How are you? Here for the company and the fun. You're so sweet. coolest hippie I know. <laughs> we got cozy vibes for just a little bit longer. And then be heading out. But I wanted to at least try and get to the next color change before with your overlay like super smooth thank you i just did this one today i had it different but i wanted it a little bit i don't know less messy <laughs> Very Sam, thank you. <laughs> I think I dangled my yarn trying to be proactive. I 
I'll admit I'd love to watch you play a scary game of your choosing, of course. It doesn't have to be cozy vibes. Oh, gosh. I, so the last time I played a scary game, Sean played Slenderman on stream, and I cried twice. <laughs> um, Factual. Like, cried twice. Uh, I think that's still on his stream somewhere. And um, almost peed my pants. So... Maybe we'll do a scary game for, like, a charity stream at some point. I think that would be really fun. But maybe maybe not so much Slender Man. Played flat... Pa wow. Played Phasmophobia recently and legit lost my voice. <laughs> yeah. And we had... When we were playing Slender Man, we had... Because um, it was, like, a subathon or something like that. And we had Omnigol's scream, so Omnigol from D One scream as the like tip alert sound at like twenty five point yeah at like four million times volume. I'll watch scary streams, but never play them. <laughs> I love that scream. It's a it's a great scream. I used to play it Phasma with my friends and sing nursery rhymes. Oh my gosh. Oh, so creepy. I used to watch uh. My friend, so, back in the day, that's evil, <laughs> uh, I used to edit videos for my friend Sam, I used to edit her YouTube videos, and she would play Phasmo, so I, I couldn't mod for her while she played those streams, like, she knew that I wouldn't be there in those chats, and then I would edit the videos, but I would have to edit them muted, like, I couldn't listen to them. Back from Lurk, welcome back, LA! Evil, but it is, no, you were, that is very evil and funny and clever, and I probably would have cried. But yeah, I might do a scary game for, like, charity or something, maybe, like, closer to Halloween, but that's probably the only time that y'all will get me to play anything scary. As if I can raise money for, like, tiny humans or something. <laughs> Pacific Drive's not too scary. That's that, that car lost in the woods game, yeah? The one that we were talking about last time, I think. Ah! Compromise, no scary game, but this... Because again, like the one, yeah, haunted chocolatier. Heck yeah. I'm very excited for haunted chocolatier. He's got 1.6.3 to get out, and then um, he said he was jumping back into it. I wonder. I've never really looked at like. Oh, I could play. play like is little witch in the woods considered kind of scary because that was a really fun i played like the first 10 minutes of that so we could play that that's like kind of a little creepy but cute yeah i don't i just gosh scary games make me nervous already <laughs> Gonna move to Lurk, but wanted to say hi and get those cozy feels. Awesome treat. Thank you. You have a good Lurk, and I appreciate you stopping in. Hey, me?
Don't even. Oh. <laughs> What are we at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, we're on 10. All right, we're almost there. Are those nunchuck knitting needles? What is that? Like, what? I don't know what that means. <laughs> the ones that have the long string attached. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is my new favorite thing. I'm going to call them that now. Oh, that's clever. But yes. Yeah, these are the cable. They have cables on them. Yep, so... They have this long loop. Couldn't think of no. That's my. It's perfect. Like I, as soon as you said what you meant, it made sense. So I'm here for it. But yeah, I have. My, I have my circular knitting needles, and then I have crochet hooks that also have a cable um, for Tunisian crochet. So, nunchuck knitting needles. I'm obsessed. Do knitters use darning needles? Um like ah like these or yes we use those to weave in all of our ends Yeah, yeah, I use it to, to weave in ends or to um, seam things together, uh, like finish up toes on socks or like seam my sleeves to my sweater or something if I'm not doing them joined. I'm almost ready to try this on too but yeah I think after I finish this I'll join oh I might not I might wait to join because I want to finish the sleeves first
almost there. And then I can just work on my sweater without having to worry about my sleeves getting in the way. Because right now they're driving me bonkers. I think I'm just gonna do a short sleeve t-shirt since we're getting into springtime. I don't know that I'm gonna have enough yarn for a long sleeve. I might have to do some math and figure that out. I'm reading an article about a writer that self-published 44 no novels and novella. What? How do you even brain? How do you words that much? That is a lot. Whoa. Like I think writing a couple sentences every night in my journal is a lot. <laughs> like, I couldn't imagine. Oh my goodness. All right. Did Nano write once so I know it's a lot? Yeah, like, I I'm, I follow a bunch of authors on threads um, and on Instagram, and, like, watching them go through their processes just for a first draft, like, I couldn't imagine writing that many of them. Like, no thank you. No thank you. All right. But I'm going to finish um just because i don't have anything else on this i'm gonna switch it over to my sleeves and that's gonna be really boring so i'll go do that but i'll be back on friday at 6 30 p.m pacific um we'll probably i'm probably gonna have all of these granny squares done so we'll work on this bag and we'll like put them together and see what works out um good stream good stream thank you um yeah so that's that's what we'll do on friday and um we are gonna go let's see who are we going to raid i think kayla is oh they're not letting me well it's not letting me raid them, so they must have their thing off. But, um, yeah, just have a good night, I guess. And I will see you, see you on Friday. Okay? Okay. Bye.